everybody is penciling in that a rate hike is around the corner and all three are on board do you think that is the case indeed um i think i think we are somewhere close to that so um first of all um sometimes uh, you know i get disappointed that uh, why are some moves not being made you know uh, for the industry to make a move in unison might be very tough now because of the depleted position of voda idea and bsnl uh, mtnl you know they are not really competing so the only uh, two eligible bachelors to raise prices in the market are either jio or airtel right airtel to me is the most eligible bachelor they are the best poised for a simple reason that for time as they have improved their competitiveness versus jio and market share uh, i think they have demonstrated that their postpaid base is not vulnerable they have fortified their postpaid base and also the high end customers uh, are attracted to the brand and stick to the brand so they've not really lost um you know jio probably has grown more at the cost of other operators than at the cost of uh, airtel so i think airtel is very well poised to increase prices rather than only small tinkerings that they have done in the recent past why they have done you know i'm a bit uh, surprised and for jio you know they have really this is one unique case in the whole world where a person from nowhere came and uh, you know occupied the number one chair uh, you know uh, in the in the market i mean they had the pole position they have the pole position now the issue is that. yeah the issue is the issue is now when is the time for them to move the game from being the best price player in the market to be the best experience driver in the market and the moment they uh, take the position of we drive the best experience in the market then the natural next step is to raise tariffs to say we give you value uh, you know for what you get and the value comes from the quality of service that we get so i think it's either jio or airtel airtel can do it because they have the legacy and the benefit of their postpaid base and that segment uh, is not very sensitive to price you know at the end of the day guys like me were paying a 5000 rupee bill why am i paying only 500 rupees now right you think i'll even blink an eyelid if this was to go up by 100% i will not and there are many others in the postpaid segment who are who are probably in the same category so i think either one of the two voda now yes voda will have to raise prices because it's a matter of survival for them and postpaid is a safe ground for them also i think they have loyalty with the postpaid customers not as much as airtel but definitely definitely they've not lost many of their postpaid customers going across to jio and survival man it's better to be small but profitable is is what is the mantra for voda idea they can't like they can't take a position to say we are going to be challenging uh, jio and 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 airtel i think that ain't happening